guess what I'm doing here. But anyway, let's insert. So I've uh, recorded um, Pod News. I've written it. There it is. Um, so that's exciting. I've recorded it into Hindenburg over here. Uh, and now I'm going to uh, insert the audio into uh, Descript here. So it's that one there. Click go. And that says inserting file, transcribe one file, yes, go. And that is now, your transcription will be ready in a few minutes. So that's exciting, let's come back then. Right then, so that's done. And you can probably see here uh, some words in here, uh, which is exciting. Um, so let's do a little bit of editing. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not going to do all of the editing, but let's do a little bit of editing, and that should be lovely. Let's um, let's have a quick look through here. Well, let's just play it and see what happens. Right, let's get rid of that gap at the beginning, and away we go. The latest from PodNews.net. Descript has released Podcast Studio, a podcast editor that works like a word processor. It's free for the first three hours of transcription, and today's episode of Pod News is edited using it. If you want to take a listen, or on our YouTube channel, you can see it being used. Descript has also launched Overdub, a way for you to correct your voice recordings by typing, using artificial intelligence to reconstruct your voice. It's worth giving the demo a go. It's a carefully designed tool that on a, it's a carefully designed tool that only works on. Right. So we need to get rid of this bit. So I'm just going to highlight this with my uh, keyboard. Do 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 like that. Delete. Now let's go back here and have a listen. I can remember how to do that. It's worth giving the demo a go. It's a carefully designed tool that only works on your own voice, not other people's. So you can't use it for deep fakes of the US president saying ludicrous things, for example. Although, anyway. Mm. The US president saying ludicrous things, for example. Although there again, Infinite dial. So let's go and take that bit out and like this. There we are. Let's see what happens. Saying ludicrous things, for example. Although there again, Infinite Dial South Africa was really. Well, this is all working very well, isn't it? I will complete uh, editing this and then I'll try and add some music. Who knows? Right, so uh, here we are. I have done all of the editing of the uh, audio now, which is nice. Now I need to add some music. Now I've uh, put a little bit of music in already. As you can see, I've got my little intro, but now I need my news music, which I'm going to pull in. Uh, well, let's just play it first of all and see where we are. The latest from podnews.net. Descript has released Podcast Studio. A all right, so that's all lovely. So I'm going to pull my next bit of music in like that. And what should happen is that this do do, I want a little gap. So the latest from podnews.net like that. And then I would like um, somehow to move this so that I start talking after the do do like that. See if that works. My goodness. Right, here we go. The latest from podnews.net. Descript has released a podcast studio, a podcast editor. Right, well that, yeah, uh, astonishingly, seems to have worked. I'm just going to cut this like this, because actually you can just cut it like that, and that should sound all right. The latest from podnews.net. Descript has released. There you go, so that sounds all right. This is all a little bit loud, this music, but we'll come and fix that later. So let's go all the way over here to the end. I need to find out where it says, uh, and in podcasts. Oh, in fact, I could probably do it here, couldn't I? There you go. <laughs> uh, that's easier, isn't it? Right, so I'd like to 
cut this, oh, there you go, split clip, all right. So I'd now like to get rid of this bit, please. How do I get rid of this? No idea. No, uh, no. Um, well, probably the easiest way to do this is to go back to the end and just do that and cut a bit of the end like that. There we are. But I've not got much to cut off like that. There we go. Okay, so now I need to add, there you go, done that. Now I need to add Pod News Podcasts, which should go here. Nice. Pull and drag this so that it goes over here. Um, probably there. And just chop the end of that a little bit. Let's have a listen to what that sounds like. Let's start from here. Social media. In podcasts today, Morning Brew, a popular daily. It's very fancy. I'm going to start a little bit earlier than that. How do I start? Well, I'll start here. Producer at CNN describes how they use audiograms, short visual clips of podcasts on social media. In podcasts today, Morning Brew, a popular daily newsletter. Well, that's very nice. And let's do one more, which is the end, uh, which goes here. Um, so where can I see? There they are. Um, so, if I understood how to edit that properly, I would go and do that. But anyway, we'll do this here, like that. Rewind it back a little bit further. There we go, because these clips aren't very long. So that would go up to there. Pull this back a little bit like this. That may be too far back. Let's try this. There we go. All right. So let's start this from here. And there we were, getting excited about hitting 10,000. And that's the latest from our newsletter at podnews.net. Wow. Well, that was exactly what I wanted. And I want to pull all of these audio clips down. I have a feeling that it might be something to do with this. No, that is left and right. So we don't want that. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's go for minus, I don't know, minus five. Let's see if that's the right loudness. Being excited about hitting 10,000. And that's the latest from our newsletter at podnews.net. Yeah, that's about right. So let's go back up to the rest of these. Drop these by five. I know it's about five because that's what I use in Hindenburg. Uh, which I might never use again. Who knows? Uh, here's another five. Drop that by five-ish. Um, right, so let's have a listen to this in total. The latest from Pod. Now, I wonder how I can get rid of that. Breath. Is that going to let me get rid of that breath? Isn't, because it's not allowing me to actually. Yeah. The latest from podnews.net. Ooh. No, we don't want that. Yes, I'm not quite sure how to get rid of that breath, because I clearly need something before the music starts. The latest from podnews.net. Descript has released Podcast Studio, a podcast editor that works like a word processor. It's free for the first three hours of transcription, and today's episode of Pod News is edited using it. If you want to take a listen, or on our YouTube channel, you can see it being used. Descript has also launched a... That's very nice. So, I think that's edited. So let's export that to File Export Audio. All right. Um, yeah, well, it exported it as lossless WAV because I've still got to import it into um, into um, Audacity. Anyway, not Audacity, uh, Hindenburg. So we'll do that. Let's go. Export. More code. We'll stick that in downloads. Click. And that is now exporting it, allegedly. Oh yes, exporting audio. Very nice. And now here's the finished version. 
with the latest from podnews.net. Descript has released Podcast Studio, a podcast editor that works like a word processor. It's free for the first three hours of transcription, and today's episode of Pod News is edited using it. If you want to take a listen, or on our YouTube channel, you can see it being used. Descript has also launched Overdub, a way for you to correct your voice recordings by typing, using artificial intelligence to reconstruct your voice. It's worth giving the demo a go. It's a carefully designed tool that only works on your own voice, not other people's. So you can't use it for deep fakes of the US president saying ludicrous things, for example. Although there again... Infinite Dial South Africa was released yesterday, covering major metro commercial population in the country. Just 10% of metro South Africans listen to podcasts per month. The figure's 33% in the US, 22% in Australia. Breaker, a social podcast app, is now available for Android users. In beta, it'll import your subscriptions from other podcast apps, and it's free. We'll link to it on Android and on iOS in our show notes and our newsletter today, and you can also listen to pod news in Breaker. Wise Buddha and Acast have announced the winner of the UK's first ever podcast talent competition, LaunchPod. Sura and Seredo Mohammed from On Things We Left Behind will now have an entire series professionally produced, launched and marketed. What's the best microphone for podcasting? 1,300 podcasts have contributed to a WhatPods survey. The one we use is at number seven. Podcast Guests is celebrating over 15,000 users. The service launched three years ago and connects podcasters with expert guests for their shows. Maggie McGuire, the CEO of Pinner, an ad-free children's audio network, talks to podcast movement. And Amy Eason, a podcast producer at CNN, describes how they use audiograms, short visual clips of podcasts on social media. In podcasts today, Morning Brew, a popular daily newsletter, has launched its first podcast, Business Casual. It's a new weekly show hosted by business editor Kinsey Grant, and it starts next week. Morning Brew itself claims one and a half million readers. And there we were, getting excited about hitting 10,000. And that's the latest from our newsletter at podnews.net.